everyone, this is Miss Alexander. Um, just making a quick video for you guys so that we can help your students at home with their long division. Um, so the method that we're using right now is called the box method. Um, some might call it the area model, but there are two different types of area models, so I just want to go over the method that we're using in class. Okay, so you might start off with a problem like um, 614 divided by four, okay? With a problem like that, um, you may have learned the standard algorithm method, okay, um, where you set your problem up this way, okay? So the method that our students are going to be working on is similar in terms of the process or the steps they're going to use, but it's just done in a grid versus um, set up in this little house formation um, that you used to use. So um, there's a song that I had the students sing, so they remember the steps of the division, um, but the steps are divide, multiply, subtract, and then in this case, we're gonna actually bring it over or bring it up and then bring it on back. We start again, okay? Um, there also are some variations on the song in which you also remember that there's a remainder um, and can also check your work. Some people remember it best as dad, mom, sister, brother, Rex the dog, and C for Coco the cat. So whatever works for you, that's fine remainder and here's to check your work okay so the way the box method works is that you draw a rectangle on the left hand side you're going to put your divisor okay which is the four and then we have our dividend so that's the number that we're going to be splitting up okay so because our dividend has three digits we're going to split our box up into three parts and I'm gonna put my six here, which is in the hundreds place. I'm gonna put my one in the tens, and then a four in my ones place, okay? So kind of setting this up as though it's a place value chart. Because I have three digits here, I'm also gonna make three answer spots for the top of each part of the rectangle, okay? And then my last step in setting up my box is remembering to put a multiplication symbol here in the corner. Okay, so my setup is very similar to how it would be for standard algorithm. However, instead of constantly bringing numbers down, I'm going to be working in these boxes and working side to side. So the first step is division. Okay, we work in one box at a time. Okay, so while we're working in this box, we don't hop over to the next box. You have to finish each box and work in succession. Okay, so the first step is how many times can four go into six without going over? right and a helpful trick is sometimes I have students write their four times tables or whatever digit it is that they're dividing by on the side of the paper okay so that way as they're multiplying and trying to figure out how many times a particular digit can go into another digit they can use this as a reference okay so I'll go up to four times four for right now, but typically I recommend that your children go all the way up to the nines. Okay, so the first step, four times what will get me close to six without going over, okay? So four times zero, I wouldn't go over. Four times one, I wouldn't go over. But four times two, I would, it would be too big, right? So my best bet is to pick four times one. So in my answer spot up here, I'm gonna put the number one, and I divide it. Next, I'm gonna multiply, okay? Next step, one times four is four. And I'm gonna put that directly under my six, okay? So I divided, I multiplied, and now I'm going to subtract. Six minus four is two, okay? So I divided, I multiplied, I subtracted. Now I'm gonna bring my number over, okay? So just as if you would bring down in traditional standard algorithm long division, we're actually gonna bring the number over. So now I have the number 21. And now I'm gonna start the process all over again. How many times can four go into 21? Okay, I'm looking here at my times tables and I'm like, oh, I didn't get up to 21 yet, so let's continue. Four times five is 20. Four times six is 24. So keeping that in mind, I can look in here and say, okay, four times five gets me close to 21, not 20. 
four times six is too big. It gets me to 24. So four times five is my best bet. So I'm gonna put five in my answer spot. So I divided four and 21, and now I'm gonna multiply. Five times four is 20. And I put my 20 right underneath. So I divided, I multiplied, then I subtract. That's my next step. So 21 minus 20 is one. And then I bring the number over because that was my next step. And now I have 14, okay? So notice as I just move over from one box to the other. Next step, how many times can four go into 14? Hmm, so if I'm not sure about my math facts, I can look over here at my chart and say, all right, four times what gets me close to 14 but doesn't go over? Four times three gets me to 12. And then four times four gets me to 16. 16 is too big, so I know that I'm gonna have to go with three. So I put three up in my, what I would call my ones place here, and then I'm gonna multiply. So we divided, 14 divided by four, and now we're multiplying. So three times four is 12. So we divide, multiply, then subtract. 14 minus 12 is two. Okay, we have come to the end of our boxes. So I know that this number here is my remainder and my answer on the top is my quotient, meaning my answer to my division problem. So my quotient, which I just put a Q for, is 153. And my remainder is whatever is left in this last box here. Um, I had some students ask today, hey, how come the answer isn't 212 for the remainder? Okay, the remainder is only what's left in this last box here because we've already worked through these boxes here. So these numbers have been carried and brought over to the new boxes. So your remainder is just what is left in that last box. I hope this is helpful for you in um, practicing long division with your students. Um, if you have any more questions, feel free to reach out. Um, but I think that having just a little visual of how we're teaching it in class can be helpful for you guys at home. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.